Hey there, in this video I'll teach you how to properly export a model you've designed in Magic of Voxel and prepare it for bringing in animation in Blender. Another thing I just wanted to mention is that I'm using Magic of Voxel version 0.99.6.2 and I'm also using Blender version 2.92.0. Before we export our model, the first thing we're going to want to do is click Fit Model Size. What this does is it will make sure that when we import our model into Blender, our model will be at the center of our workspace and our origin will be in an ideal position. Once you've done that, click export and then OBJ. What this will do is it'll generate three files and you wanna make sure that all of them are in the same folder so that when it's being read by Blender, everything works. As you can see here, once you export your model as OBJ, it will include three files per object. So since our model only has one object, you can see that there's an MTL file, an OBJ file, and a PNG file. The PNG file contains all of the color information for your model. Now that we're in Blender and you've cleared your scene, what you're going to want to do is go to File, Import, Wavefront OBJ. And once this dialog box pulls up, you're going to want to find the folder that contains the model you just exported. Once you've found that folder, click on it and make sure that you set forward to Z negative and Y to up. Finally, what you're going to do is click import OBJ. Now that our model has been successfully imported into the Blender workspace, the first thing we're going to want to do is get rid of any unwanted vertices. To do that, first select your model and press tab to go into edit mode. Then press A to select all vertices and then M to bring up the merge menu. Under the drop down, make sure you select by distance to get rid of any unwanted vertices. The pros of this method is that you can easily import your model into Blender with its color information attached. However, it does have some pretty significant downsides. One of which is that those colors are under the same image, which means that we can't edit or modify any of the colors without deleting it completely. Secondly, the geometry is far from ideal if you plan on rigging or animating your model. Therefore, this method would be really good if you don't plan on editing your model in any way. The second method for exporting your model into Blender will solve some of the issues that we had with the OBJ. This time, instead of selecting the OBJ, select PLY as the exporting format. What this will do is it will put one file with the PLY extension into the folder of your choice. Now that we're back in Blender and you have your model exported as a PLY, the, th the first thing you're going to want to do is go to File, Import, Stanford, PLY. And once you've found the folder that contains your model, click Import, PLY. Right away we can see that our model has no materials whatsoever. This is one of the downsides to importing as a PLY because it means that we would have to manually create the materials from scratch. On the bright side, however, the geometry is exactly the same as if it were in Magic of Voxel, where each cube represents one voxel. Even though the geometry looks good, we're still going to need to remove any unwanted vertices as we did before. The third method for importing your models into Blender takes a little bit of setting up, but can be extremely useful. The first thing you're going to want to do is visit the link in the description and download the Magic of Voxel importer. Also make sure that you extract your files in the folder of your choice. Now that you've successfully downloaded the Blender Vox importer, there's a couple things you need to do. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and then under the Testing tab, click Install. From there, you're going to want to locate the file you just extracted and hit Install Add-on. Make sure you check this box to enable it, refresh the page, and exit out. As you can see, there's now a new import option titled magicavoxel.vox. The first thing you're going to want to do is locate the folder in which you just exported your model to. And it's important to note that you do not import your original file. You have to import the exported file. For whatever reason, if you import a regular Vox file, it won't work. Upon selecting the correct file, you can see that there is a huge version of your model, all with individual boxes. However, you can see that there is all made up of hundreds and hundreds of cubes and that won't work for modeling. So what you're going to want to do is press A to select all of them. While holding shift, click on another one and press control J. Now all of them are inside the same object. 
the next thing you're going to want to do is get rid of all unnecessary vertices so like we did last time press a to select everything then press m to merge by distance and finally it would be pretty nice if we could get the origin between the legs so what we're going to want to do is press 3 to go into face select click the two at the bottom by holding shift and then press shift s at the same time to do cursor to selected what this will do is bring the 3d cursor between that so then once you press tab to go out of object mode right click and set the origin to 3d cursor this means that for the entire object the origin is right between the legs so then once again press shift s and the number one to bring it back to the world origin and then select your model press shift s again and press the number eight selection to cursor and there you go your model is all ready to be rigged or animated